Hi guys, I'm Nagadar Chen and welcome to my reaction for The Promised Neverland episode 3. I haven't watched this for a while, so... But I still think I remember. In the first episode everything was so happy and then it kinda was destroyed because we actually were shown that the kids are like food on a farm, well, animals on a farm, for some weird demonic beasts or what the hell it is. But like, it's orphanage, something like that. Uh, it's some kind of weird post-apocalyptic world or something. Hard to tell because I just watched only two episodes, so I can't tell much about it. But I'm intrigued about a story. Like, really intrigued about a story. It seems interesting enough. And I have no idea what these kids are, where they came from, uh, why those beasts, demons rule the world, I have no idea. And they like, there was a girl and she like, well, she was supposed to go to her new family but actually she was killed and like harvested. And then the two kids, uh, what's their name, Emma and, oh I, I already forgot them. Emma and something, the guy who is like all very pale, white-haired, they like went there because they wanted to like say good goodbye and they figured out that's like not what happening actually, so they were scared shitless. And next episode, like they were playing it okay because their mama was like sensing something is off, which seemed really obvious because like, yeah, they were acting weirdly and uh, they told the other guy because he also like knew something is happening so these three are planning to like survive and because of Emma to help other kids, which I think is not possible. But we'll see. Also, I think new baby came. And also, also new mama for help because the other mama was like, no knew something is happening, so she asked for a help. Yeah, I think there's like two episodes. The story of two episodes, so. I'm like wondering what else would be happening. Uh, they have more people in orphanage now. Well, a lot of kids. Emma wants to save them all. Uh, one, the white-haired kid likes Emma. The other one is more like me. He's like, ah, this is not possible. We should probably firstly like, try to escape and then probably figure something out. Even though he's working with them now. Uh, we have two mamas, very dangerous because now like they have more eyes. Also, they are tracked. Yeah, I forgot it. They have some tracking devices inside of them, so they need to like, take care of that too. And I have no idea what will be happening. How will they play it out? It seems like crazily dangerous. So, I think I should start it right now. And starting with the... Opening already. Which I think I mentioned that I like. Yeah.
I like it very long. It's like not animation, but visualization. 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 That's what I wanted. Hard English words. God damn me. Red string which ties their fate. Burning up. Well, that's cool. Oh yeah, Overworld. I wanted to mention my favorite band. They made a lot of my favorite openings and endings. So that's it. I hope my notebook laptop will survive this heat. So yeah, that's the new mama. Yikes. Yeah, they have it planned out. Uh, but, but what does this mean? It's someone's name, or like tattoo, or... Yeah, surprise, surprise. That's true. Probably. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. That's very important. Probably. Yeah, it might be like some small chip inside, planted inside of them. And I probably even don't know how to destroy it. Yeah. It might be their tattoo, that's just what I'm thinking right now, because everyone has it. Oh yeah, that's true. Mark. But I'm probably thinking like too futuristic. Ooh. Wow, we okay. I like this like interaction between them. Sister Krona, I don't know if I like it. Yeah, what? Okay. OK. 
Okay, I understand. Maybe she like don't want problems, because that would make a scene. But she is very suspicious. Yeah. She is creepy. Oh, she's blotting something, definitely. Yeah, she's very ambitious. And she definitely enough is not okay in the head. I'm kinda starting to like her. She's crazy. Crazies are the best. Like, can nobody hear you? Because she's talking really loudly. So she's crazy, she's very ambitious, she wants to be mama and I guess she can go very far for that because of that. Yeah, that's true. And that's... Norman, yeah. She's just creepy. Can nobody see that? I get, like, dead vibes, but I have sense to creepies. Yeah. I just can't sense it. From the mama. Yeah, you sure do. This is sus suspicious, quietly. That girl is just watching you. You're just mambling while there is another girl which can hear you. Like, ugh. That could be it. Nothing. So it's on their ears. Yeah, we can easily remove that. What I'm kind of concerned is that the kid has kind of the same color like her. How they are like making the kids? Clowns? I don't know. Oh, she's reporting. Yes? Ooh, 
lot of weight on her shoulder. Not good, not good. Okay. Okay, the creepers. So the boss. I like the association with flowers. So there is some like leader of these creepy things or whatever, I guess. Hmm. This girl. Not good that she smells something bad. Yeah, you figure it out. Destroyed. Yeah. It will be noticeable. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm, yeah, it could be. Probably. Yeah. Maybe she was waiting for the mistake. Okay. That would be the biggest problem. Yeah, it would be hard. Like, they are dangerous, we're going to get eaten, please go outside. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, how can you transport them? Why do I have feeling somebody's watching them? Probably that, like, glasses girl. Okay, so she wants to train him, okay. Yeah, they're helping them to use their brains. Cool. This is cool. I like it. Survivalism. I like survivalism. Maybe not. <laughs> um. <laughs> She's so creepy. I would be just running away from her if she would be smiling at me like that. Hmm, how are you? Yeah, sure. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I would do. So she's crazy, crazy. <laughs> kind of like her. Maybe she's extremely unpredictable. She is fast. She's very happy about it. Damn. Who knows? She definitely seems like she's not mentally okay. Yeah. She's very clever. Something which would lure them out. She's very good. Jesus Christ. She's scary. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> She is determined. Okay. I wonder why all these people do that. Do they have like benefits? Or like, I don't know. They are raised for that? But still like, Oh my god. Yeah. Can you shut up? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you should just ditch them and run other way. Sure. Hello. She got very nervous. Oh my god. <laughs> this kind of remembers me the time in Hunter Hunter in the forest when they were hunting each other in the Hunter exam and there was fucking Hisoka. Oh. Surprise, surprise. They outsmarted you. Clever boys. What's with the girl? Why her? Suspicious, suspicious. Ooh. They are playing it safe. They are trying to, like, probably confuse you. Just I don't know, wait. Yeah. Oh, the girl with glasses. I mean, yeah, I was thinking that. Makes sense. 
Food, yay. Yeah, get nervous. Don't trust anyone. How can you save them all when you can't trust anyone? Clever mamas, clever mama and assistant. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's moving very slowly, but I'm getting interested more and more. Oh my god, this ending is long. Yeah, there's nothing after the ending. Okay, I'm starting to see it. It has a very slow start. Like, very slow, at least for me. I feel like it's very slow, but also very intriguing. Like, these kind of, I mean, interesting mind games, but they're kind of obvious, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it makes sense. I hope it will kind of, like, graduate more, because it's very dangerous. And I like what they present. Like, the kids think they are very smart, but these two women are kind of smarter. I do really, I'm really starting to like Sister Krona. She's crazy. She's definitely not mentally okay. Uh, she wants to be mama for herself because she doesn't have that position yet. So she's just assistant. And I feel like she, I mean, she's taken opportunity and she was even like, I can report the fact that there are kids knowing about this whole problem. About like, this is not orphanage but harvest area farm for food and yeah it makes sense that the mama don't want like the bosses to know this is happening because she can have problem because of that sister krana i feel like she will definitely take the opportunity and do something bad so mama will have a lot of problems uh when they mentioned they probably would need to kill them i think there is also like probability that that might happen. Although Sister Chroma, I don't really know what to expect from her. Yeah, she's crazy, so it's hard. Like, what can you expect from crazy person? Is kind of unpredictable. <laughs> I like it. And yeah, like this scene, chasing scene of Paris remembered me a lot of Hisoka. Maybe the author was like, I do really like Hisoka. What about? I can make absolutely crazy person running away and chasing kids with crazy face on. Yeah, <laughs> that really looked a lot like Hisoka. She's crazy. I don't like her. Like, I do really like her. How like she looks, what she does, how she speaks. She's psychopath. I like psychopaths. Did I mention that? I do really love them. So that's interesting. Krona definitely seems better than Mama, because Mama is kind of not definitely like normal person, but she's more like, I mean, she's cold. She's very cold and she do her job and blah, blah, blah. She's not crazy psychopath talking to herself and like the daddy bear or whatever. Yeah, and she does not make so many crazy faces. <laughs> this would be interesting. Then we have these monsters who eat kids and they have like some meeting. Probably just some food meeting. And I mentioned boss a lot. I guess this boss is the one who established this. Who just came to human world and say you do this and you do that or I will obliterate the whole world. I don't know like Maybe human world don't even exist. This is in a future like with Shingeki no Kyojin when everything looks like they kind of regress technologically. So you would assume it's some kind of like alternate past, but this is kind of like alternate future, <laughs> but like with different countries kind of. So it's also like really crazy. Because in Shingeki no Kyojin they have technology, it's just that this place where main characters live is absolutely without technology, kinda. So they live like 
very regressive. So this might be the same that like they are in some locked area and they don't even know like what kind of technology exists. Like they might be far away into the future and they might not know it. Because he mentioned 2015, so like it's 2015 year. Don't know like for them what kind of 2015 it is. Alternate of reality, history, whatever might happen. So I don't know what I should make of it, but it seems very interesting. Uh, also, I do really love that they were trying to like get these kids to be clever and like be more physically able. That's good idea, really good idea. It's kind of obvious, but really good idea. I like that. Like they are really thinking what they should do, and it makes sense. <laughs> I'm really glad for that. Also, Mama and her assistant are also making a lot of like clever choices. Because they are thinking few steps ahead. So that's cool. Uh, like, she told them about that there are probably some tracking devices. Or she definitely done told them, but like, they saw that. So for them, logically, they should destroy it. But, what, like, if they would do that, she would like know it's them and she would have opportunity to catch them. Or something like that. But like they stopped and thought about it and like yeah, I was thinking about it also, but like I didn't want to talk a lot because they talk a lot in this anime and I don't want to just pause it and pause it and pause it. I was thinking about it like well, what if there is something like which would tell them that you destroyed it and they like mention it so I was like glad okay. <laughs> At least they are not dumb. So yeah. That would be also a problem, because if they would like run away, they would need to destroy it and they need to find a way how to destroy it, even though they can destroy it right now, so oof, it's complicated. Then the last plan these women have, like that... Yeah, there is someone who is like snitching on them, and that's cool, because now they can't trust anyone. But they need to like sa save everyone, which is completely crazy and Emma looked very stressed about it. Because like, you need to help them all, but you don't know who is like, like taking information to both of them. So you just can talk about like with all of that with them, with everyone and like, how can you make a plan like that? That's crazy and I love it. I like it. I like that there's a lot of like thoughts into it and a lot of scenarios which make sense. It's still kind of predictable. Like a lot of predictable because so far there's nothing which would like shock me. Like, oh wow, this is a super twisty twist. Because it all makes sense, kind of like, you know. But I think, I don't know if this would like go death and out route when like there are crazy twists and turns and you're just your brain exploding. <laughs> I don't know, maybe later. It's still like it's kinda very slowly but upping up, up and up. Yeah. Interesting. So still I'm going to give it seven out of a ten this episode because like I said it was good, but not that much. Run fast, which is good, but I'm kind of like not sure. Not sure, because like I've said, I... My problem is that I've seen a lot of like things when there is this mouse and cat, like, and I've seen that note, which is like best case of this, like intellectual fight, something. So, so far it does not impress me that much in this area, but I'm interested in the world, mostly, with this. I like want to know what is happening in the world and why is it happening and what will happen and who are these and how that happened and... Ooh. Yeah, I love like story, world building things, so I'm more interested in that with this anime. 
but the character so far seems kind of okay. But this intellectual fights, so far there is not that much spice to them. I would prefer if they would kind of spice it a little bit. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm kind of like used to much twists and turns and nothing, like not be that predictable and... I don't know, we'll see in the future. But I like it. So far so good. Which is not bad. So... Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder what will be happening. But yeah, they talk a lot in this one. And it's hard to like, like make your thoughts when you are watching, and there's so many, so much text you need to like concentrate on. So I can like finish. I can't finish my thoughts. That's kind of frustrating. So I hope I'm not missing something like extremely crucial. That's hard. Like when I need to like think, but also read, but also like talk, and <sighs> I'm like very bad with doing too many things at once, so I hope I won't miss anything important. If so, just make some comments on that, but don't spoil things for me, please. Yeah, this would be right. So much intellectual fights, yay. At least my brain is doing some work. <laughs> so I think this is all for now. I'm liking it more and more. I'm interested. I want to know if this will be kind of like hard racing like that note was. Because that note, the best in this genre, like seriously. Also, Sherlock Holmes, BBC. Yeah, that was a great series also. Even though I, I think I watched like only five or six episodes, I didn't have the time to watch it all, and I don't know, is it finished or not? But I really love it. Oh, sure, like, the best. I mean, Benedict Cumberbatch has a lot of work now, so it's harder for him to continue with that. And... And... What's his name? He also was in Marvel. Funny, isn't it? I can't remember his name, but he played Watson. I also like him. And he played Bilbo. Yeah, so they have like a lot of very big roles and they're not, they don't have a time to work on Sherlock anymore. So I don't know if it continued or they kind of like postponed it. If like these two would have a time for getting back to that. But Sherlock's also very good. Because of Sherlock, you know. And Benedict Cumberbatch is a great charisma. So, yeah, I really love this intellectual kind of cat and mouse things. <laughs> Yay. So I think that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.